Hi everybody, this is Joe with Joe's Premium Firewood, bringing you another fun-filled, exciting video. Today's video, I'm gonna be loading up this hickory here, an oversized truckload that I'm going to be delivering to the restaurant up in Grand Rapids. And I'm also gonna be talking about how YouTube has refunded me, or will be refunding me in a couple weeks for the money that was stolen from, from me back in July. I'll talk more about that in a second. I just wanna show you this. I just got my truck back. Chuck back from the shop, had to weld it in two spots. I've lost track. This spot right here has been welded about three three or four times. And then I found another crack right there, but he got that with a diamond plate. And I also had to buy a new battery and he changed the oil. So that cost me $150. And I had to take him four truckloads of outdoor boiler wood because we uh, barter back and forth, but when he has to buy parts, he let, wants me to uh, pay for the parts. And you know, batteries nowadays are 150 bucks. So I think what I'm gonna do is load up that part right there, that little pile first, and then I'll come talk to you, talk to you some more. So you see in the video I did a couple weeks ago of, uh, called, uh, it sucks loading firewood, buried firewood. It's not so bad when it's stacked, but it's still not fun. So let me get going on this. I got the, uh, I got this mall, the Fisker's mall out here. <clears throat> Cause I'm sure this is gonna be frozen together. So I gotta get it unburied, but I'll get this loaded and then take a break and come back and talk to you. So <clears throat> you're not like doing these in the winter time. But I gotta do what I gotta do to uh, make money, to survive, right? I'll turn this a little bit more this way. Cause right, right now sales are so darn slow. This is my first, first delivery this week. Right now my corporate customers are carrying me. Cause last week I delivered two truckloads of hickory to my other restaurant. one guy pick up and I deliver to a new guy so only four truckloads last week that's barely enough for me to survive then I got Mike and uh, Mike bringing me wood and other guys bring me wood I end up having to borrow a hundred bucks from Chad he's he's one of my suppliers and lives nearby here and he's camera shy he doesn't want to be in a video but he does watch them so I appreciate that Chad Try not to scratch the truck. But yeah, I mentioned it, mentioned it in my other channel the other day that I got an email from them that they're gonna be paying me back. I'll talk about that. Some of you might not be familiar with it. I used to talk about it all the time. This is way, way easier than when I, when that wood was buried. You see me adjust, pushing my glasses up a lot and adjusting my hat. I, every time I do that, this JPF gets twisted around. Well, this little pile wasn't too bad at all. Barely worked up a sweat, but that's gonna be uh, a lot harder. So anyway, back to uh, the YouTube. If this is your first time or you're newer to the channel and you haven't watched my older videos, I used to talk about it all the time, my stolen channel. Very upsetting at the time, but what? just a quick, brief background of what happened. In July 19th, I received a phishing email, a phishing scam, 
and preach some from somebody pretending to be YouTube. And I wasn't thinking clearly, whatever. I was stupid. And I gave them, I gave them my password. On July 20th, the next day, that Saturday, I was out in the boat and got a notice saying, uh, I'm no longer the owner of the channel. And then on the 30th of July, YouTube terminated the channel. I had been averaging about, you, you see the ads, it's not much, about 300 a month. A lot of people might say, oh, that's a lot, but it really, 300 bucks a month, I'm not, you, you see why I'm still driving now, if it was like 3,000, it would be a lot. But 300 bucks a month, it just supplements the 700 to 1,000 I make a month in selling firewood. And that's roughly where, where I'm at. But right now this year, it's a, it's been real slow, like I say, since January, only selling about 700 a month. That's after, that's profit. Now the sales dollars are more, but so as far as the channel goes, uh, it, it took me till October 24th till, uh, until I got it back. I started this channel on uh, the, July 31st, the day after it was terminated, and I built this channel up. This channel got monetized, I think, on October 11th, and the when I got the other channel back on the 24th, it started making money for me again, and I think that first month, that first month I, I, I made, uh, I think, 250 bucks between both channels, which isn't too bad for, for a partial month. But when I got the e email from them the other day, it was Saturday morning or so early Sunday morning saying they were going to reimburse me. I was figuring around three, two to three hundred dollars, just depending on when it was cut off. And I have been following the, the, the channels currently. I, you can go and follow the analytics. There's a app you can get. And I figured I was going to make about $400 between the two channels for January. And then they said they were going to add it to it. And on, on, uh, usually on, on, uh, the 11th of the month, it'll tell you how much you made the previous month. So I was, I knew I was going to get at least 400 for what I'd made for the both channels. Then the other channel I was thinking they were going to pay me between two and $300. Well, when I when I when I got that when I checked it yesterday morning about I was so happy I looked and I got I knew I was going to get at least uh seven hundred dollars the four hundred for for the January and then the the two to three hundred dollars so between six and seven hundred dollars well I'm going to be getting in two uh, usually on the twenty second they direct deposit in your account. I'm going to be getting $1,400. So what they must have did is the money that the, scam, the scammers, when they took control of my channel, they started uploading videos, pirated videos of the TV show, The View, and they were getting like 25,000 views in a day, sometimes uh, 40,000. They uploaded like four, four or five videos in the, in the week before it got shut down. So they made like $700 and maybe YouTube froze that money and, and, and it decided to give it to me. So it's such a blessing. I was just so happy to see that. You know, I, right now I, got, I owe Chad money. And then that Tom that dropped off the wood the other day, I haven't, I, I, he's been bringing wood on IOU, so I owe him $225. It's not life-changing money, but it's a huge help with sales being so slow as they are right now. And, I mean, and you can just imagine how much uh, the Morgans and, Buck and Billy Ray get each month, but but I'm I'm happy with making three four hundred bucks a month. It's fine. I, I I will never be as big as them because I don't edit the videos. I just uh, I just wing it, just like what I'm doing right now. I'm not reading off a script, just talking to you guys. So, yeah, in two weeks that that's just going to be such a big help. I mean, it's not like I can go out and buy a new truck and do all this other stuff you guys want me to do, but it's going to like put some money in the, my pocket. Plus, Mike needs money to get his truck legal, so I'm like, dude, start bringing me some ash. Just bring it here. I'll have money, in it. And, and that's basically what I'm going to spend all the money, on, most of the money on. Pay my debts, and then start buying wood from Mike. So, very happy to see that. But you know what I figure? 
while my channel was down and then while I was building my other channel from July, from August, September into the end of October, that two and a half, three months, I probably lost $900. So as far as I'm concerned, we're, we're even. I'm happy and we're good to go. So finally some good news out of the channel, even though it, you know my sales are slow, but I'm gonna give you some bonus footage. I'm not gonna make you watch me uh, watch me load this whole whole load even though it is going faster than normal but I just want to show you how this is going to be a little bit harder and actually I'm, I'm thinking about doing a live stream tomorrow because like I say my corporate customers are carrying me I, a campground just ordered two oversized truckloads for Friday so I'm going to split one into the into there tomorrow I'm going to see how fast I can do it I'm, I'm guess I made a video before and it was like 44 minutes and then my battery died on the phone and I was still splitting, but I think I can do it in like a half an hour. So we'll see. And like I say, tune in tomorrow. And we're supposed to have a snowstorm, so I'll be out in the snow splitting. So most likely I'll be doing that on my other channel, Joe's Firewood Videos, the stolen channel that I got back on October 24th. And normally I don't tarp, tarp wood, but during the winter out here I do. It does make it a little easier to get to. It keeps it cleaner. About time for a new tarp, eh? And it helps them from getting frozen together. So this is going pretty easy compared to the pieces that were sitting on the ground on, the, on those dock sections on a hill and, and under six inches of snow, all frozen together. Now these, these pieces out here, these are more stuck together. How far is this turn? My hat turn. Yeah, the only person I know who watches the view is Pam. Like this is a this is a wood that Mike got from uh, my customer Mike when he cut down that big uh, hickory tree last year on my other channel. I think I got I got a video of him dropping that and uh, splitting it. This should last them. I deliver to them about every six to eight weeks. They're in downtown Grand Rapids. I'll go up there, they count me uh, food and a drink, and they do the unload. And I'll get paid. Uh, 250 bucks for it. All right, I think you've seen enough of that. Be sure to check out some of these videos at the end. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you at the next one.